What's up everybody, Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com uh, Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on programming your Executor Demon uh, dual NAND solution for the uh, RGH consoles. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself the Demon Toolbox that has all the drivers for it and whatnot. Uh, but before you run the installer here you'll want to either plug in your micro USB into the daemon chip uninstalled from the console with the uh, chip switch to PC they recommend you doing this before you install it that way if the chip is bad right off the factory floor which is unlikely but it happens uh, there's no questions you haven't touched it but once you've soldered to the chip there's a possibility that you may have messed something up so it's a good idea to just go ahead and get yourself a micro USB and plug it in and and hook it up and test it before you install the chip to make sure everything works it's, it's for your own protection really uh, <coughs> me I've already gone through all that uh, I've got the demon actually installed into the council uh, everything's hooked up and the console is plugged into the power brick but not powered on I'm, I'm going to be doing everything through the rear USB port on the Demon NAND switch uh, right now I'm going to plug in the uh, Demon USB cable and you can see in the bottom right hand corner here installing device driver uh, I just got the indication that it failed to install it as you can see here that's fine don't worry about that now we're going to want to go ahead and open our demon toolbox actually before I open that I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to computer and right click on that and then go to manage this is going to pull up your computer management here and I'm going to go to device manager as you can see it, it did at least do something because it recognizes that the uh, it is an executor demon uh, now I'm going to run the uh, toolbox setup here let me move this over here to the the corner of the screen Oop, that's Windows 7 and it's resizing okay click yes next it's going to ask you where you want to put it program files demon toolbox uh, I'm going to just leave everything at default. If you want to move stuff around, feel free. So just keep clicking next. And then we got the create a desktop icon. If you don't want it, don't click it. And then lastly, install. Now it's going to ask you if you want to install the uh, Demon USB drivers. Make sure that's ticked. You want to check in there. It, it's that way default, so just don't touch it and hit finish. Uh, getting a little warning here. Don't worry about it. It's from Executor, so you know it's good. Uh, wouldn't you know it? Uh, my wireless mouse is trying to die. Come on. Come on. Alright, there we go. You can see here in your computer management, some stuff is changing. Stuff is changing. And I just got the uh, nice accepted sound from Windows. You can see down here, it's, it's indicating that there's something hooked up. Now the demons moved down here to Universal Studio Bus Controllers. So everything's good there. It's all uh, all updated. So I'm going to close that computer management down. You should have down here in the corner, right there, see, eject executor demon. Alright, now uh, let's uh, go ahead and open up the demon toolbox again. If it so sh chooses. This is the uh, 
demon toolbox. Oh, by the way, if you have any troubles opening this demon toolbox, uh, you'll want to make sure that you have a Microsoft Visual C++ installed properly and updated. Uh, also, download the Service Pack 1. A lot of people have been having issues with uh, like 0x0000007D 0 or something to that effect. Uh, I actually had the issue myself. It took me a little bit to figure out the the uh, C++ and and then it took me a little bit longer to figure out the service pack one uh, so this is actually my first time seeing the demon toolbox I've not even used it and to be quite honest uh, the only thing I I really intended to use it for right now is uh, getting the, uh, the the demon drivers installed I, I, I'm not ready to play with this so I'm gonna close this out I uh, got all the drivers installed that way so that'll work I'm gonna open my JRunner JRunner is a very familiar tool to me I like it I like it a lot it works great uh, this is really neat once you plug in your daemon and you have the drivers installed it automatically you get this little logo here indicating that you have the daemon uh, and you can see down here mode firmware firmware 1.0 flash daemon check this out up here in the daemon column you can hit toggle NAND and you see down here it says Xbox 360 it switches switching to Xbox and actually on the console the LED on the the daemon USB port changes so I'm going to toggle the name back to the demon. See it's slick. Super slick. And you can actually turn the console on and off. And whenever there's an update, here you go. Update demon. Pretty neat. Okay. Now, this was already an RGH console. So I've already got the uh the retail NAND for it. But I'm going to I'm going to show you the process in its entirety pretty much uh, so I'm gonna go back to the retail side of the Xbox here and I'm gonna read the NAND I want you to see just how fast this is it is ridiculous reading NAND bear in mind uh, the NAND X was just amazing in its day and it still is it, it can read the NAND. For me, it reads in 2 minutes, 2 seconds, and writes in 225. So that I thought that wasn't bad compared to LTP. But look at this. Look at this demon go. First read done in 22 seconds. 22 seconds. That's nearly two full minutes off of a 2-minute read time. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. The first time I saw this, I... I I couldn't believe it. I'm used to going out and smoking a cigarette in between nan reads and and, and killing myself. As you can see, J Runner automatically detected some bad blocks there and went ahead and changed it. Uh, I already had the CPU key for this console, so it automatically loaded it. Otherwise, you'd be going through all that jazz. Uh, well, assuming you have everything hooked up and you're ready to flash a cool runner I'm gonna show you this right here uh, the as far as this point goes J runner doesn't have uh, the latest demon timing files on version 278 or version 0 0.2 278 uh, so you gotta manually download those you can get them from uh, from executor uh, they have them in the demon section so uh, what you want to do is download them. I already have them downloaded. I'm a, I, I have them in my JRunner folder. You want to go up here to Advanced and go to uh, uh, Custom NAND Functions here. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to the uh, to the Demon NAND. I forgot to do that. So Custom NAND Functions. Come over here to commands and go down to XSVF and then it's going to want you to select your file now 
I already downloaded them. I named the folder Demon XSVF, and I'm working on a slim. So I've got the Trinity Demon here. And go ahead and hit run. See it down here? Sending to Demon. Done. Alright. So that means that the the cool runner is now updated with the latest demon files. So we have our NANs. Now let's go ahead and uh, select our dash and our glitch and our NAN type. I always put that in there. It detects it anyway and it'll pop up and tell you to put it in there regardless. So. Uh, Now I want to uh, uh, go to create image. There it is, it's created. And we'll write this to the demon. This is the RGH image. If you already have an image created, you can just skip the create image and load your uh, your RGH image up and write that to the to the demon. Now if you have a capture card, which I don't, I'm supposed to have one on the way but it hasn't showed up yet. Uh, if you have a capture card, you you can actually just right here turn the thing on. Right here. Turn power on. But I'm going to power cycle the console now that it's written to it and that's pretty much it that's all it in the, in the basket so uh, this has been the uh, demon programming guide uh, you can fiddle around with the, uh, the the executor demon tool but like I said you know I don't feel like learning any new tool right now I used it just to grab the the, the drivers uh, and get them installed so until today I wasn't able to get this thing working so I, I did not realize the service pack one for C++ never even thought about it so anyway once again this is Kill423 from EpicCouncil.com and this is how you uh, program your demon so go have fun with it later guys